Commissioner Murray said drop it. We talked about his family and all that. Why isn't that kind of hard to prove or hold? Why isn't that? The fact that he was talking about was he was talking about in consciousness, in awareness. In other words, this is a world of concepts. And so father, mother, sister, brother, you know, I mean, here we are. We talk about the United States, you know, baseball, hot dogs, apple pie, Chevrolet, you know, all these things. There are certain things that build up a great value. You know, it seemed to be a shared illusion among a lot of people. And one of those things would be family. No doubt. When you mentioned family, look at the political races, you know, family values. So-and-so is running on the platform of family values to appeal to that concept, to that construct. But what if truly beyond the illusion, beyond the core, the surface concepts, what if we were all part of the family of God, the family of spirit, the family of one, and the fragmentation that was made up to cover it over that family of God involved a lot of separation, involved a lot of specialness. You know, I mean, I've grown up, family was always a pretty positive connotation to that. You know, family values, family, put your family first, you know. There was Gail Sayers, you know, who wrote that book, I Am Third. God is first, my family is second, and I am third. You know, very popular book. Family, big time. So when Krishnamurti says drop it, he's talking about drop the attachments, drop the specialness, drop the concepts of family in order to realize the unified family of God in which we are all family. Everyone, no matter what their age, race, ethnicity, you know, no matter what, or blood relatives, you know, family is often associated with, you know, blood relatives, but we've heard for centuries about blood feuds, you know, the War of the Roses, you know, all of these family squabbles, people saying, well, they're not family. Marrying somebody, you know, some of you remember the movie The Godfather, I've even got a clip in here from The Godfather, The Corleones. Family was a big, high value there. I'll do anything for my family, my family, anything for my family, you know, including put a horse in some guy's bed if they cross the family line. You know, there was a lot of blood and murder in some of you, you know, with Sicilians and with the Mafia and this and this. Family is a very important value to the Mafia. It's highly valued. And yet, there's a lot of corruption and Christian Murdy was just pointing out that it's just another one of these concepts that you may think is alluring, that you may think is valuable and important, but if you go much, much deeper, you will see that there's guilt associated with that construct. And when Christian Murdy said, very lovingly actually, drop them, drop it, he was saying, drop your self-concept, drop the image that you made up of yourself, and accept the true divine self that was created for you, that was given to you. And now this is not from the Course, this is a book, and actually it's some audio on it. If you don't mind, I'd just like to read it. It's from a tradition called the Ayurveda tradition. You guys might want to look it up. It says, the self is eternal, permanent. The self cannot be reached or obtained because it is always fresh and new. You are the self right here, right now. You are already that. Paradoxically, the best way to help others become self-realized is to help yourself first and only. Self with a capital S. The self-realized being sees only the self. In essence, there is really no value in helping others because others doesn't exist, except perhaps in your imagination. Very good, Jim. Astounded as a mother to read his interpretation of our children to us. 
And I think mothers here can appreciate that because of how we hold our children. Um, and he said, they're not your children. He said, you're an instrument through which they came, but they are God's children. And there is no need to pray for them or ask for them because as God's children, he will maintain and protect them. And my son is looking at going to Afghanistan, and it was like, wow, that gives me so much peace. You know, because it was like, what's the right prayer? How much do I pray? You know, is it going to be my mantra all day, every day? You know, kind of thing. And it was so freeing and eye-opening. 